okay? Um, so any of those cameras, cell phones, GoPros, all that kind of stuff, bring with you, take as many pictures as you want. We do have a photography team that will be taking pictures of you throughout your tour today, if you guys have a chance to look through after your day is over with. Um, but bring those things with you. I am like a little um, like a tear like if you fall and you would cut or abrasion like have an abrasion on yourself their dorsal fin is very similar to like our ear lobes so there's no bone or muscle in there um, so again why you might see like a curve of course it could have been yeah yeah it happened a while ago so but their dorsal fin they have no control over it yeah otter she's 13 years old you guys can all come right over here so everyone can get a good look at her. And we're going to start off and give her a big killer whale hello. So hold both of your hands out like this and give her a big wave. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna ask her for some vocalizations or sounds. So all the sounds that you hear killer whales make, or even dolphins too, it comes from their blowhole. They don't have vocal cords, so no sound comes from their mouth, no. <laughs> so one of the signals, and I'm gonna have you ask for it. Hold your fingers out like this, and move them from side to side. Good job! All right, and I'm gonna have you ask for another. So hold your hands out like this and crinkle them and then watch your blow hole. See all the air bubbles? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do that. All right, and I'm gonna have you two come on over here and you're gonna ask her for a funny noise. We're gonna have her head on the surface so you can hear it. And hold your finger out like this and point at her head. <laughs> Thank you. Love the raspberry. Sounds like she's smoothing. <laughs> How deep? It's almost 40 feet. And it's about 55, 53 degree water too, so it's nice and refreshing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have a bunch, everyone stand right up here. We're gonna go one at a time for one, two, three. Can you guys move the side so she can get your photos? dots it's a little bit easier to see on this other side yeah but you can see these little dots that's where she used to have her whiskers when she was first born but within the first week or so they fall out so they don't really need hair to swim and just slow them down uh, but they think it's to help find the mammary glands but they're mammals just like us so being a mammal one of the characteristic is having hair another characteristic is nursing their young so she's a female so I'm going to show you where she would nurse her young or where she nursed from her mom when she was born so that's her belly button, that black dot. <laughs> All right, you guys see that big line? The big line is where she goes to the bathroom. The little lines next to that big line is where she nurses her young, that's her mammary glands. So that's where the young would go under the water, hold their breath, and killer whales can do this. Can you guys do this? Yeah, killer whales are excellent tongue rollers, so they'll make a straw with their tongue, section onto their mom, and then that's how they'll get the milk. 
Yeah. Some question when you tap on the glass, is it, is it because of the action that you're doing or, can, or like the It's bridging her. So that lets her know, one, that's it, that's she did a good behavior. So we can use this to tell her she did good. We can tap on the glass and that also calls her attention over here. Just like that. But it tells her um, you did a good job. All right, guys. We're going to do a final behavior. Put your right hand on your heart like this and do a big swoop down to the ground. She's going to give you a big pillow of the vibe of her tail. But it's not over yet. So what you're going to do is follow Joe back up to where you started from. And the killer whales are going to do one more behavior for you. And then Joe can answer any questions that you guys have as well. Thank, thank you. You have the best job. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Feed her a fish. Let's do one more and that will be it, okay? Get over the glass, buddy. Oh, Perfect. Good job. Good job All right. So head right thank back you. up there. Thank you. Get this box and you get you get you one. So. Um, so for this part, Aww. there they are feeling the show as usual. So those are the three girls that we have here. Those of you about Malia, she's on the far left. Lonnie is right there in the middle. Katina, our main shark, and our oldest girl is here on the right. Um, as you can see, the, two, the middle one on the far left, Lonnie and Malia, they're very, very similar in size right now. That's because they're only about six months apart. Um, Malia is younger, but she is slightly heavier, slightly longer. Um, when they're fully grown, I don't think that's going to stay that case because, because of genetics based on parents and grandparents and all that kind of stuff. But it is really interesting to see because their bodies are very, very different. Alani is very much like short and stubby, kind of like mom. Um, Malia is very long and sleek and slender, kind of like her mom. So they all do look different once you can spend like, quality one-on-one -on -one time with them. But um, yeah, it'll be kind of interesting to see how they all kind of shape, shake out at the end when they're fully grown. But they have about 900 pounds of growing to do and then they'll be fully grown female killer whale. So. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, I would much rather answer those than I can, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can talk about. I'd rather not talk about that stuff and talk about the stuff you guys are actually in. One specific toy that they can play with, they choose to play with it however they want. And so, um, it's actually kind of fun to see how creative they can actually be and all that kind of stuff. Um, anything else, guys? No. Alright, well, one thing I did want to mention to you guys, because you guys got a chance to see a very small portion of it. Um, is that there's a wide variety of ways that we are able to interact with the animals and I was today enjoying having some playtime with the critters and everything. If you guys leave and there's a question you guys are like, oh shoot, I wish I could have answered that, um, grab one of us. We love talking to you guys. We love answering those questions and everything. Oh, yes. Yeah. Katina, the oldest, was um, one of the original whales that was brought from, um, brought from the ocean to the Seabrook Parks. The other two were born here. One of them is actually her daughter. Yep. How many um, of them do you have here now? I'm sorry? How many of them do you have? We have five killer whales here. Yep. And, and out of the five, all four were born here in Zero Orlando. We saw one time when we came in, the same was close because she just gave birth. Yep. Yeah. The same yeah. morning. It's, it's, so, pr yeah. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool yeah. to kind of have the chance to experience yeah. that. So, but guys, again, if you guys have any questions later on, don't hesitate to grab us. We love answering those questions for you guys. Um, and if you guys leave and you're like, I really wish I would have asked that, um, feel free. I wish I would have had that resource when I was a kid. I would have been blowing up their in inbox. So um, <laughs> take advantage of it. Ask those questions because we love making. We love making sure you guys have all those questions answered. Cool. cool. All right, guys, have a great yeah. day at the park. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.